Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel, Alvin Happiness. This is me, Alina, with you. So in today's video, I'll be sharing with you some tips um, in order to bring out the best in you. So make sure you watch this video till the end because I will not be sharing a fact as usual, but I'll be sharing a very happy news with all of you. So make sure you watch this video till the end. Uh, so yes, let's quickly get into the video. Concentrate in your talents. This is one of the important things that we all must practice doing it. Each and every one in this world is blessed with one. But no one can actually help you in actually finding out one. Only you can identify what is it you are good at or like what is it you are blessed with or what you love doing the most. And if you haven't found out till now, it's high time you do it now. And concentrate on it. Embrace your talents. You know what we will do? Instead of appreciating the things that we are good at, we simply or like blindly wish to be like someone who is actually good at their own talents. Recently, I watched a short film uh, of two couples. Let them be A and B. One couple be A and another be couple B, uh, who are neighbors to each other. Okay, so this couple A leads a very busy life uh, with our, with their work as well as with their three children. And couple B is also indulged in their work, but they usually find out more time for themselves since uh, since they don't have any children because that's one main reason uh, they get more time to spend each other. And this couple A uh, often happens to see this couple B uh, during their affectionate moment, which in turn leads to an argument in their life, in this couple A's life. And this fight often starts when husband A start admiring the qualities of this wife B, which actually provokes uh, wife A to start admiring the qualities of husband B. That's quite usual, that can happen too. And this fight kept on going for quite a long time. And gradually, this wife A notices that husband B is seriously ill. And yes, she actually shares this information with her husband, A. And one fine day, they came to know that he passed away. And this wife, A, you know, for the very first time, ran towards this wife, B, to console her or to, you know, to be with her on this uh, very bad moment. But even before she could say anything, like she means like wife, A could say anything to wife, B. She was literally surprised when wife B was able to recognize her as a person from next door, as a lady from next door. So then this wife A immediately asked to wife B, like, how did you recognize me? Then this wife B explained that they used to admire their loving relationship with their family, like with their children, like the bond they used to share that this husband A as well as this wife A with their children, with their three children, or like how this wife A nurses their little one, the third child. See, there's actually a very important lesson that is hidden in this story. And we usually neglect this. You know what it is? We often don't value the things that we have. Instead, you know, we get jealous of the things what we don't have. So what I want to tell is that concentrate on the things that you have, concentrate the talents that you have or blessed with. it. Practice. This is one of the important things that we all must do. Once, once you realize that this is what you're good at or this is the best thing for you, you know, only hard work and practice can actually help you to achieve your ambitions or to reach your goals. And I'm a person who totally believes in that. There's no substitute for hard work. And there's nothing called as luck. It is, it's actually a myth. I, I, I really don't believe it. If you're a hardworking person, then believe me, one day you will reach the stars. And sometimes, like, there will be days that you have to, you know, push yourself. Like, it may go sometimes beyond threshold limits also. But, but it's totally okay. It's totally fine. Because it's for you. It's for your future. So, even if you feel tired, but still, if you're able to push beyond the threshold limit, like, you know, you have to feel proud. And one day when you actually you know, achieve those goals, you feel, you feel really proud about yourself by looking back. So always practice on your goals and be hardworking. Never listen to others. Only you know yourself completely other than anyone else around you, isn't that? And your mind will never ask you to take a wrong decision. I don't know whether you have faced this issue, but 
few years back, like whenever I had a confusion, I, I end up uh, taking suggestions, taking suggestions uh, from my loud ones, from my immediate ones. And you know, I'll, I'll end up taking a decision that I had given the least priority. And if things doesn't come out in the expected manner, I'll put the blame on them, which was which was one of the negative qualities in me. Uh, now it's not there anymore. So what I'm telling is that I'm not asking you that you must not take suggestions. Yes, whenever you are in a confusion, it's always it's always good to take uh, suggestions from your loved ones. But make sure that always the final decision must be yours. I'm not telling you that you will actually succeed in the very first attempt. No, you may even end up worse. But you know at what step or at what stage you went wrong. And when you actually try it out for the next time or for the second time, you can actually avoid it completely. And one day you will be reaching your goals. So that's it. Never listen to others. You can always take suggestion from others, but always listen to your heart. So now it's a time to reveal the happiest news that has happened to me. Come, come, come. So before telling this to you guys, yes, I want to call my Muttama. Otherwise, oh man. That's okay, Muttama. You can come sit here. A little married. Okay. So yes. Now, Muttama, what's the happiest news? Uh, thousand subscribers. <laughs> yes. So yes, we are a family of thousand subscribers now. Our channel has just hit thousand subscribers. So I'll tell you how. Uh, we already had like 800 817 subscribers. Yeah, uh, yes. and then uh, we uh, Anu Chechira producer. Anu, uh, Anu means like our cousin, like uh, her official name is Alice Christie. We have a surprise bride to be arranged with Anu. And uh, like Anu's team, Anu's YouTube team has actually came to our home. Uh, so there was this person called Vivek. Who is Anu's producer? Uh, plus Anu is a good friend. We actually have a lot of interaction with Anu's channel. Like, he came to know about our channel, Our Little Happiness. So like Vivek asked Anu, like, um, Anu, like it will be a like, great thing if you can actually give a shout out to our channel. Mm. Anu was like, yeah, yes, like, I'll do it. Uh, like we hit thousand subscribers uh, yes yeah. <laughs> and now even now it's growing so i'm really happy so a big thanks to vivek as well as yeah, thanks vivek. for the carilla <laughs> uh, um, so yes a big thanks to vivek as well as to all subscribers thank you guys thank you so much uh, atre atre so no keep more. supporting us <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, actually got some doing work. And I'm not going to share it because it's we both who started our channel. Oh. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put your So that's it, guys. I hope you all are happy to know this. And yeah, you all will be continuing this support forever. That's it. Bye, everyone. Stay safe.